Hi guys, Donuts, Rob C here, Trench Light Guy 1976. Uh, this this video is going to be a pretty long video. It's going to be about a, a sling care sheet from breeding to female to around second, third, and star, where you're, you know, you're safe and all that. So, first thing I'd like to uh, get uh, the idea of this video actually came from one of our members on my side of Retina Files. Uh, her name is Lori. Thank you, Lori. Yeah, it's a very good idea. I mean, it really is. I've been contemplating doing it, but you pushed me over the edge to do it, so everybody give credit to her. But uh, first thing we're going to do is talk about uh, breeding the female. Uh, female, uh, you want to wait till she's about two months into her molt cycle. I mean, I, I, I usually do it when it's about one month, you know, because, I mean, I got Blondie right here that I've bred, waited two months, and she's ready to molt. <laughs> she does it every time. She's, she molts every six to eight months. I don't know why she's doing that. But, you know, wait, the Avix, I mean, literally I could probably get three sacks out of a molt cycle. But there's no proof of that. I've never done it because uh, usually one molt cycle per egg sack is the way it goes. But, I mean, I literally breed these guys 15 days. There's an egg sack. Pure Nada took two and a half months, you know, around 66 days. I keep very de always keep detailed records of your slings when they're molting, when they're doing it, and anything like that. And, uh... You know, when, uh, the first thing before you breed the male is you really, really, really got to feed the female heavy. I mean, very much. I mean, you got to feed her heavy. And my thing is, I uh, your teas eat what your, your what your feeders eat. Your teas eat, and our bee dubious, which the food bowl food bowl's empty now. I feed them all bee dubious. They get carrots, lettuce, tomato, uh, not, not tomatoes, oranges. Oranges make the dubious breed better. All the vegetables, cheap cat food because it's got low calcium, and it, it really. And I, what I do, I gut load them. I put them in a container like this, and they eat. And then I, I feed them to my teeth. There's there, there certain ones for the for the breeding. Got you know, it uh, I think it helps helps a lot because after the uh, after they're done uh, after the, after females lay a sack, I usually uh, I, I stop feeding. And I stop feeding at that point, and I got a little note thing here. If you see me look down, I want to make sure everything's covered. <laughs> Next thing is, is you know, once she lays an egg sack or starting to make a nest, do not disturb her at all. Don't stick a flashlight in there. Show your buddies. Say, oh look at this. That just it's just not that's unnecessary. Uh, no lights. I do have lights in this tank right now. It's kind of for display. That's what the webbing will look like when she's about. That's an a, that's an aversive color about to lay a sack. See the webbing right now. I mean, it's not. It's, you know, ambient lights fine. I really shouldn't have that on there. It's probably a poor demonstration, but she she always she's done it every time, so it's fine. But uh, I mean, it's, it's just no stress. You don't want any stretch and uh, stretch any stress. And when you and, and make sure the cages. The reason I don't like food items is they don't eat them. The food item could die, mites, and then you get a little mold and a little mold here. You have to keep your tanks very clean because an egg sack with mold that's no good. It, it, what happens? Mold gets on one egg inside the sack, and then when she rolls it, it goes to another and another, and then you open it up and you got a big ball, a golf ball. To what it looks like of just it, it's gross. It looks like a ball and you throw it away. Uh, uh, when you're pulling the sack from the female, you got to make sure, you know, that there's no, you know, when you're pulling it, I, I don't know if you've seen in my videos, when you pull it, you can't be real rough, because you can take a spider egg and literally go, it's crushed, so if it hits against the side of the tank, like the one with the verse color, I don't know if you guys saw the video, or she grabbed it away, I thought maybe I'd, I, it was going to be bad, because it, you just basically put the ruler in front of the female, take the egg sack away, quickly, and then that's it, try to get the, you can get the female something back, I usually feed them. It, that's fine, and then you know, you know. I mean, it's and when to pull the sack. That's a very good question. A lot of people have. I pull all mine at 28 days, 21, 28 days, four weeks, something like that. Every one of them is usually around, you know, egg lake stage. But again, this temperatures. My uh, temperatures in here, are 82, 85 percent humidity at all times. So if you're at room temperature, you know, might be eggs, might be eggs with eggs. Now a lot of people may disagree with that. A certain certain individual, a uh, very good friend of mine, Mina. She's a moderator on our site. <laughs> How you doing, Mina? She has very good success keeping the babies with the mother, leaving the egg sack with the mother and letting her take care of the whole thing. And she, you know, you know it's undeniable. She, she's got green bottle blues coming here. She's got them coming there. She's a good breeder, very good breeder. I just, I choose to do it differently because I found sacks that have mold inside them, like one or two. And if I wouldn't have pulled it that early, the whole sack would have molded. So I, I take away that. And I've had very good success with the, uh, every incubator, you know, with the incubating them. And, uh, for the incubator set up is as follows. Basically get a, a snap top, you know, they lock, lock and lock, whatever you want to call it. Cut out this, cut out the top, just the rim. The rim is so when their eggs and legs they don't roll off, first thing to start kind of corrals them in that area. And what you want to do, fill this with water halfway. Microwave it for a minute and a half to kill any germs, something like that. Now this is hard to do <laughs> when it's just two people are easier. These are are these yours, tights? Oh, that's my other Thank girlfriends. I'm just kidding. They're yours. <laughs> no. Oh, look at that. Hey, 
that's impressive one, one time. Basically, this is, this is where your slings are going to lay. Kind of want it tight, pull it tight here. See, so it's bouncy, so they don't sink into the water. What you do, put your lid on, like this. And that's where your eggs, you know, eggs, eggs will lay. Separate them, make sure they don't touch each other because the egg with leg can. After it turns the first in star, even an egg with leg I've seen, roll over and actually take an embryo and eat it. So you don't want that happening. You want them separated. And there's two types of incubators I use. This is one with a little bit more ventilation. Basically, these are deli cups. You can put the lids on all the way so there's no ventilation, you know, very minimal ventilation. There's a few holes here to keep up the humidity. And the way you keep up the humidity, these paper towels are bottom, just mist these lightly. There's a reason for these, and I'll get to that in a second. Uh, if you want to increase the humidity, you just put on a deli lid. You want to, uh, you know, increase it, you take it off. And that's your, you know, it's easy. Uh, deli cup, put it inside, make a hole, glue the deli lid to it, glue some netting to it, screening, whatever. But uh, these are pyramenias here. The reason for this is your incubator will go in here with your eggs. And when there's first in stars, basically, probably, that's another question I need to cover. The stages are egg, and then the, the egg will actually emerge, emerge, not molt, into an egg with leg. It's basically, you know, that's, it's an egg with leg is what it looks like. After it molts out of that, it's a first in star. So every time they molt thereafter, it's an instar. So first instar, they molt again. They're second instar. Usually second instars have hair, start to look like a real tarantula. They can begin to feed, stuff like that. But uh, the reason for this is when they're first instars, they can move around a little bit. And if there's humidity build up in here, I get my humidity from the air, not from spraying. So I'm, I, I don't have this problem, but some, pe some people might. Is that moisture will puddle up down here and a first instar could fall down here and die because of the, the water will drown them. This will absorb it. And they can actually drink off paper towels, which, you know, that's fine too. But we'll get to that point in a minute. Here's the other style incubator. These are Averse Colors, First in Stars. These are Angel Legs, and they emerged in the First in Stars. They're starting to get darker, which, which uh, indicates they're going to molt within a week. So let's get the light on here and see what it does. They move when the light hits them. These are First in Star Averse Colors. Same, same setup. Only difference is there's no ventilation in here. Both of these have worked, so, I mean, either one will work. I also have a temperature gauge here, you probably can't see it. It's 80 degrees, 85% humidity. The heater's off right now, I'd be sweating. But yeah, that's just, you know, and the thing is, you gotta keep these clean. Now, when your eggs and legs do hatch into first instar, or eggs and legs hatch into first instars, or when they emerge from the egg, you'll see a, a little piece of, a, it's basically skin, skinnish type thing on the bottom of the abdomen. Don't pull that off, let it fall off on its own, and then get them out of there. The secret to sling care, in my opinion, is, is, See how clean that is? See these little things here? That's what I'm talking about. They fall off. You, you want to get every any kind of debris out of there. Uh, especially when they're first in star, going to second in star, they're, they'll molt. Molts will mold faster than anything. You want to get the mold, the, the molts out. That's what we do. We pull the molts out. And another thing I need to cover is when you're in, the, in first in star to second in star, you will get some uh, molting problems. Me and my wife here have uh, hours of getting teased out of molts. There's, sometimes you can get them out, sometimes you can't. It takes a very delicate hand. I've saved. 26 in the last sack. Had a little messed up leg, but molted again. It's fine. But I mean, it's it, the temperature and the humidity, and, and the temperature in the uh, incubator should be, you know, around 80 degrees. That's what I keep mine at, 82, 90% humidity. You do not need to have it that. They'll develop a little faster. So 75, you, you guys with just you know room temperature, it's going to work too. Never use a heat pad on any tarantula cage, any incubator. I don't care what anybody says, any book says, and I don't care. That's, that's the wrong thing because it creates a hot spot. Tarantula cannot sense it. It'll kill them. Same thing with the sling. If you want to use a space heater for a room this big, you can heat that area. It's much safer with a thermostat because, you know, you have to control the heat. And you have, always have a, a secondary heat a gauge in here. That's a very, 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 very... Uh... Another thing is I'm going to... Uh... What you need to go over is when to separate. At second in star, usually they'll get hair, like I was saying before, and they actually look like a real tarantula. What you want to do is, after that, about a week after that, they can begin feeding. And I actually do, I don't have a lid here, but I use a, a, a watering bowl. Now you got to be careful with this. You're alright. It's a pyramid. He's fine. I use these for watering bowls, not with a hole in, of course. Uh, because their second in star is about 0.75 inches. Very shallow where they can get out. Because I, all my slings drink. From water, from water source, so I think that's key, key, to, key, key to too. And I mean, uh, it's it's just they're like little tarantulas. Then that's it's time to time to probably separate them. Also, when you I mean when they're second in stars to begin feeding. Another thing is I've noticed is if you feed all them together, 
you know, you don't know who's eating, who's not. You can separate them in these little vials. These are about five, ten gram vials. A little substrate, and they're fine. Work perfect for versies. Uh, another thing is, excuse me for a minute. You can, when your slings get a little larger, these are fifth, fourth, and star verse colors. As you can see, right here. I drilled a hole in here, hole in here, and hole in here. The hole saw, and this glued netting over. Made this in ten minutes. It's a container, seventy-nine cents. Hey, buddy, how you doing? There he is. That's a that's a, uh that's my son's actually. There he is. That's a first color. She's about three inches. Yeah, they're cute. This is something I keep in. It's a little piece of bark, a little bit of substrate, you know, moist, cross ventilation, most definitely. Hey buddy, wanna go in here? I know, you're doing an Avic walk. But uh yeah, these are very good containers. I mean, you don't need too much room for them. But I'm not saying, you know, for second inch stars, those pill vials will work fine. That's what I kept them in. Nope. I knew this was going to happen. I'll just leave him on for a rest of the tutorial. It's fine. Uh, next thing we're going to cover is uh, some species are communal. Yes. Pulsotheria, pure nata, pure gallus. Those are very communal. Avix, people think they are. They're not. I had a guy buy four of them from me. He lost three within an hour or two. Because, I mean, I wouldn't say Pulsotheria is communal. I'm going to take that back. They're, they're tolerable. They'll tolerate each other. They won't kill each other. Communal is more like uh, they live in the same burrow, they eat together, they nest together. That's going to be H. gigas, that's a very good one. I've raised 200 of those in the same closure. Uh, HNC, that's another one. And a chicken spider. And if anybody has one of those, you better PM me right now. Because <laughs> I want one, and I want one bad. Uh, I mean, and it's, it's, it's pretty com much common sense when you're raising slings. I mean, it's, it's basic rules, clean, yet you be very clean. That's, that's the thing. If you get mold, it's, it's, it's devastating. You get stagnant air in here, it's devastating. That's why you need uh, some ventilation once, you know. Depending on your humidity, it depends how you get your humidity. I get my humidity through the air so I don't get stagnant air and I get an air exchanger in here, so it it helps out a lot. But, yeah, you know, this is, you know, we raise these guys from eggs. Eggs, not eggs with eggs. These were actually pulled at 14 days. They're eggs. You can incubate eggs in here too, same way. No different. Put them on there and let them go. Let them be. Make sure your humidity, if you have a room that doesn't have humidity, you watch this gauge and you want to spray, you know, spray in here to, so the humidity comes up and it blocks it and, you know, you get humidity. So at least 75% humidity when, when doing it. You don't want them to dry out. But the most important things are do not stir the female when she has an egg, egg sac. It's funny. I know he's, he's awesome. I got four more I could probably. But uh, he's cool on that white. I like him. Uh, separating the eggs. <clears throat> eggs with eggs once you get them out of the sack because you, you don't want them sticking together. They can stick together and when they start eat, eating another one, it can just form on their face and die. It's, it's happened to me many times. But that's, a, that's the basic care. I mean, it's, you know, uh, after second instar, you know, start feeding them. Uh, pinhead crickets uh, once or twice a week. Other than that, uh, that's all there really is, guys. You guys have a good one. Hope you enjoyed.